I've been waiting for this for a while now. Of the repair bay or repair station. So let's do that right now. Got all the stuff gathered up. I went back to the mid zone and gathered up a bunch more marsh eggs for this. And uh, looks like that's where we install it. Amazing. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to go back out and see if we can get ourselves some Olympium fragments. That's what we need more than anything else. But before we get started, uh, a couple things to get you updated on. First of all, uh, we made the reinforced headlights. And we resolved um, three or four quirks from the car. And they also have an audio log to play for you. Finally, back to the question of Ophelia Turner. The fact is, most of the people I spoke to didn't know her. How is it that the supposed inventor of limb technology herself, who ostensibly led the Arda R&D project, wasn't known across the board? It's almost as if the American public knew her more than the people who worked and lived in the zone, thanks to the PR machine. But how does that all balance out? The best I could get were vague acknowledgments, mainly from scientists. Mind you, this lot was also the most tight-lipped. But those who showed a hint of recollection spoke of her as if she were an urban legend herself. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is we are finally, I've been waiting for this for a while now, able to make the repair bay, or repair station. So let's do that right now. Got all the stuff gathered up. I went back to the mid zone and gathered up a bunch more marsh eggs for this. And uh, looks like that's where we install it. Amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um, except for that the car is fully repaired, except for this Olympian panel that we pulled out of um, the rocket in the last episode. And the star means it's special, which means you can't repair it. But apparently the repairing machine does not realize that, so it keeps trying to repair it. Hmm... All right, what happens if we remove this? Yep, that stops it. Hmm, 
Okay, that's a problem. I don't want that thing to continue going off while we're here in the garage because it's going to get a little irritating. So that's something the depths need to fix. Uh, if you have a panel that is not repairable, this thing should not continue to try and repair it. Nevertheless, um, it is awesome that we finally have that now. So, um, you know, we get back to the shop. That takes care of the repairs. We don't have to expend more putty or blowtorch, uh, blowtorches to do the repairs, which is amazing. Okay, let's see. Um, I have in here some new stuff that we found. Uh, so let's take a quick look and see what we got here. Uh, we now have... Let's see. All of this is nor we've had before. Okay, nothing new for the dash. We've all we've done all the mirror stuff. We have a new thing called the welding welded steering wheel. So let's do that. I love it. <laughs> okay, new steering wheel. What else do we have? Um, stick shift. Uh, looks like this sculpture shifter is new. Let's see what that looks like. Interesting. Honestly, I still think I like the shock absorber the most. Okay, uh, for hood ornaments... What do we... I think we... Yeah, we got the fire, the pirate ship on. We have the prop, the wire replacement. Hmm. Have we tried the prop yet? I don't know. Let's try the prop. I wonder if that actually spins. That'd be kind of cool if it did. We'll have to see once we get going. Uh, all right. For the uh, antenna, we got this new thing called Powered by Carbs. Let's try that out. Looks like a piece of toast with some butter on it or something. That's precisely what it is. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Okay. Um, kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Kind of weird. Um, and then let's see. For stickers, we have this. The OK, the Gay, the Nay. OK, Gay, Nay. Outdoors. Okay, and then we also have a uh, reactor. Uh, let's install that. New sticker. Okay, we'll keep the rest of that as it is. Um, all right, I think that gets us, <coughs> excuse me, updated for everything we can do at the moment. There are some more things that we want to be able to uh, either research or make, but uh, Olympium is holding us up on, on that stuff. Uh, one of the one of the biggest things I want to do next is I want to make the XL roof battery, but we need four limb chips, and it takes I think six Olympium per chip, so we need 24 Olympium uh, to make um, that, and we only have five. So Olympium is a thing we really need more than anything else. And there's a couple other things I can't remember off the top of my head what they are, but there's a couple other things that Olympium is holding us up on as well. So the plan for this episode is to go back to the deep zone and farm up some Olympium. So let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we do need to go to, uh, what are the, what's it called? Red Spires. We need to go to Red Spires Biomes to get Olympium. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, so, oh, excuse me. We can't go directly to A6. That's a smokestacks. This... This is a Red Spires biome, but it's also the next mission biome. So if we go there, I mean, I don't know how close we are to ending the game in terms of this, you know, of the main story. Um, and I, I don't want it to end. <laughs> I'm having too much fun doing this. But smokestacks, smokestacks, smokes. Yes, yeah, smokestacks are not going to get us Olympium. Uh, you know, we could get some of the other things like the magnets and the balloons and that sort of thing there, but not the, not Olympium. Um, excuse me. So, uh, if we, 
This has kind of a low instability storm timer and even lower uh, limb power, anchor power. But it would have, potentially would have some, some Olympium. But we'd have to go th through, we'd have to like kind of go up through here to go through that zone to then end up here. I do not like the fact that this has um, the battery draining thing. That is just the worst thing ever uh, for us to have to deal with at this point. That's smokestacks. That's smokestacks. See, I don't know when, you know, we can re-roll these, but I don't know if it re-rolls the type of zone it is or just what's in the zone. So that's another thing to, to, to think about, too. Um... This has, this has perpetual stability, so that's always good. So I guess it doesn't matter. Well, actually, if it has perpetual stability, do we still get an instability storm? It would seem to indicate that based upon the timer. Hmm. See, here's another red spires zone, but I mean, we could go through there to get to there, but we can't use this as an actual destination. Just kind of based upon the way that the game works. So this kind of sucks. I'll be honest with you. They're not giving us a whole lot of options other than going to the next mission. And we could do that, of course, but here again, I just don't know how close that's going to throw us to the end of the game but it does seem like our best option um i mean i could re-roll this but it, but it's still a smokestack zone so it's still not going to do us any good in terms of getting olympium so i guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll just do the story zone and we're going to want to go through uh, shit okay no that's a smokestacks we're going to want to go through this zone because this is a red spire zone. And that'll get us more Olympium. We have magnified explosions, which doesn't sound good. But it's probably not the worst thing in the world. Also, I don't know why it's showing that the blacksmith is not recognized. Unless that means something else. Because we did scan the blacksmith in the last episode. I'm sure we did. So I don't get that. Okay, so probably what we'll end up doing then is going through... Well, we could go to D1 here. And then cross over into A7. To get to here. How do we know, though, which gateway is going to go to A7? I guess I don't quite remember how that works. Oh, uh, oh no, you know what? Never mind. We can't go there. Forget it. Doesn't matter. Uh, at least I don't think we can. Alright, well, let's set out and see what happens here. Oh, oh uh, yeah, we need to put this back on. We'll run with this Olympian panel uh, for this run, but it'll probably be, you know, worn out by the time we get uh, finished with this run. Or worn out enough to where we're going to replace it with an armored panel if we, you know, don't come across another Olympian panel in the meanwhile. Seriously? Okay, so we could go this highway route. It's just that, how do I know? Well, it since this is our ultimate destination it probably will throw us into a7 which is where we do want to go we don't have a lot of time there but do we have some time so yeah let's head on up to d1 here we got to go through g1 first but i'm not going to dilly dally in the, the outer and mid zones we're just going to try and get to the deep zone as quickly as possible i will stop for power i'll stop for plasma um, but that's probably, uh, or, you know, if we do happen to come across a box truck or an investigator, we'll stop for that stuff too. But otherwise, we're just going to move through here. All right. 
We're out and uh, no major incidents there. We did get hit by one left and right, but uh, otherwise everything was good. All right, another highway zone. Let's just move right on through. All right, we gathered some marsh eggs right along the road, but other than that, smooth sailing through that highway zone. Okay, we are going to go here and grab these two things of power. And then um, pretty much just GTF out of here otherwise. Oops. What is especially... What did that say? Especially something or other. Magnified explosions, meteorite medley. We already know what this means. Uh, those are the big stone things that came down in the last episode that scared the hell out of me. All explosions in this part of the zone are particularly violent, meaning they will cause even more damage and destruction. What was the other one? It said particularly something or other. Man, there's still so many more weather conditions. I don't know. Whatever. Um, let's just go. Okay, so we need to turn right. Alright, we just had a fucking pickpocket steal our hood. And we also have a, a barnacle around, which isn't good. And I realized that when I changed out all my shit, I forgot to reassign it, so. Uh, let's see. Shift is the uh, radiation thingy. Ion shield. Control is the limb pulse. F is the resource radar. Radar. And this is the limb shield. Okay. Are you gonna steal something else from us now? Asshole. If he does, we'll have to just retrieve it. Well, there's no getting around this wall. Let's just do this. Put on our physical protection. And we're good to go. All right, let's do this. protection on. Let's put our physical protection on. And go over the top of that. Alright. Turn that off. this. I forgot to turn my radiation thingy off. Let's do that now. And then we have another thing right there. Let's just go after it on foot since it's pretty close by. What the fuck? Did you take a tire from me? Fucker. And I thought I'd just turn my radiation thing off. What the hell? Off. Put trade in power, man. Okay, let's go. That's a corrupted anchor. You do find those in the mid zone sometimes. Oh shit, it's tourists. I think that guy tried to steal something from me, but I don't think he was successful because I think I still have all my shit. Nope, I'm wrong. He stole something. What did he steal? 
I hate these guys. Oh no, he didn't steal anything. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Whoops. All right, we have a storm coming in. I think we're pretty much done in this zone. We're just gonna get the hell out of here. So we'll turn right on this at this junction and head on down to the gate. And those guys are fuckers. Okay, we're out of here. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is a Red Spires area. We don't have very a ton of time before the instability storm comes, but we have a little bit. Our main goal is to get as much Olympium as we possibly can, and I guess our respawn or rescan rather the blacksmith. I could have sworn I did that, but according to this, I haven't. So I don't know. Um. All right, let's do this. Unless that's something different than a blacksmith. Could be. He just uses the same icon, maybe. All right. First order of business is to get our power. Uh, so we'll hop off the road there. We'll probably drive along through this valley and then just kind of go up and around and grab those two. And we'll figure out that one later. Uh, yeah, so let's do this. We're going to have shit weather the whole time, pretty much. It's just kind of the nature of the beast here in the deep zone. Not always, but most of the time, it seems. That is. They're exploding bunnies of some sort. We have one on the car. No, we have bubble gums on the car. Okay. Fuck off, dudes. All right. They just bursted one of our batteries, or maybe the battery did that on its own. I don't know. Oh, look at that. We gotta go get the Olympium. That is priority number one, and depending upon how much um, scrap metal I currently have, I can get a few more magnets too, but I want this first. There's some way over that way too. Got everything off of those two. Um, let's go. Let's go grab this one too. Okay, I think that is it for the Olympium. Nice thing about the wind, though, is it is spinning up our turbine here. Slowly recharging the battery. Okay, what do we have for scrap metal? We have absolutely nothing for scrap metal. 
All right, uh, what we could do is make a little bit of scrap metal. Okay, let's put in what we have. This weather's terrible, man. Yeah, we got a few magnets out of that deal. Okay, things are calming down just a bit. All right, nice. So we got ourselves some Olympian. And um, what I want to do is... I guess there's no power right there. Um, I think probably maybe what we do is we get off the road here and then we drive up through here to get those two things of power. Let's go. Oh, nice. We have meteorites in this zone. Love it. Oh, shit. Not really. I'm lying. I don't love it at all. Oh, yeah. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. You know what? Fuck it. We're going off here and putting our limb shield on. Not that. Alright, let's move through here. Let's see if we can spot some more Olympium. Alright, not seeing anything popping up immediately. my way towards the road. Okay. We're going to go off down through this valley. There's Olympium over there. That's the highest priority. The only one that's around here that we can visibly see? I think so. I think we need something like 40 of these to make the the engine. Uh, Alright, let's just drive straight ahead and get the power. See it right there. Okay, we need to put this in our arc device because I think we need needed like five Kalim to get the hell back out. Oh shit! Uh, back out of here. Why did I just turn my car off? Not good. Um, we want to go straight to that one. Okay, let's go. Oh, crap. Not good. Get off me. 
Go away left and right. I hate you. Give me control of my car back, please. Thank you. Yeah, there's more of those things. Crazy ass bunnies. I just don't know what kind of bunnies they are because they blow up before I have a chance to scan them. And here comes the instability screen. Let's just kind of keep going around the this valley to here. We'll see if we can hit this. Man, that storm's coming in fast though, isn't it? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. It is what it is. We'll make the best of it. Let's go. Uh, our power is not doing the best, but I do have two full um, plasma chargers, and I also have a flat tire or something else going on. What's the matter with it? It's flat. Okay. Of course it is. Whoa. Uh, let's grab b -b 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 this. Uh, let's also grab this as well. Since we're stopped, I'd like to just kind of recharge the batteries a bit. there. There we go. Let's go. Yes, I know. I should have had my lights turned off, but I didn't. So sue me. Okay. Gotta go. Hmm. This might be a mistake going this way. If it's going to be a thick forest. We'll see. We'll still stop for Olympium, as bad of an idea as that is. What the fuck, man? Now we have another bad tire? Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's, um... back in our inventory. Let's go. Yeah, this is kind of a thickly forested area, so not quite so easy to traverse as the map kind of made it look. Always blame the map, you know? Don't ever take responsibility for your own bad decisions. Blame the map. It's the map's fault. The actual problem is I'm not down in the valley. I've been kind of up on a ridge here. Now we're in the valley. back over that way because so I can hear it yep I think we need 5k limb to get open our gateway to get all the way home so uh, we should be getting close to achieving that 
What do we have? We have 4.5, okay. Right, let's stop here for a second. Um, the storm is right behind us, but I think we could probably make it to that. We have a look. It looks like the train is relatively flat all the way over there, so let's just head straight to it. We're not going to escape the yellow part of the storm, but we might. Uh, hopefully, we can escape the red part of it. And we have more Olympium there. I'm going to stop and get it. I know it's a very bad idea, but I'm doing it anyways. Especially with this much of it. Alright, is that all of it? I think so, yeah. Alright, let's go. The storm's coming, but it's not coming really fast, so we're sort of kind of staying ahead of it. Should be around here somewhere. Is it, it's up above there. Shit, how do we get up there? Can we go up this? This is kind of steep. Yeah, we can get up here. Nice. We, we should be able to jump down from there without taking any damage just because we have the... Uh-oh. Is this going to be a problem? That's a problem. Seriously? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Can I suck it with a vacuum? Nope. Alright, well that was a waste of time. Absolute waste of time. Devs, fix that shit, please. Okay. Um, let's kind of go back around and get out onto the road and then get out of here. Yeah, that sucks, man. It really sucks. I don't know why the car warns you when you're going uphill. It's not like you don't know that you're going uphill. <laughs> it's like pretty obvious. Yeah, I'm on an incline. You don't need to warn me about that. That's just kind of what I'm thinking, you know? Any Olympium along in our path here? Go this way. And we're on the road. Okay. We're just... Okay, there's some Olympium. We're barely keeping ahead of the storm. We are going to stop and grab this last little batch here. Shit, did we already harvest this one? We must have, because there's nothing on there. Hmm. That's odd. I didn't think we were... I didn't think we were this far... 
to the west, but apparently so. Okay, well, get on the road and get, oh shit, get out of here. unbearable yeah yeah fuck that is one hell of a big pillar man Jesus that thing was huge okay can we can we chillax for just a second and Repair? I mean, we can try it. We're still in the storm. But uh, we're kind of in rough shape here. Okay, uh, any status effects? Yes, we have a problem with our door. The window's broken. Uh, right here. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. That makes it worse. We don't use an impact hammer on a broken window. Okay, um... Okay, I don't see any other status effects other than this, uh, which we can make a little bit better by creating another... Uh, we don't even have what we need for a ceiling kit, so so much for that idea. Let's grab the torch. It's the only torch I have, huh? Hmm. All right, what's, what's bad? This is bad. Fix that. Well, let's get it partially all the way up. Get that at least partially all the way up. Panels. Uh, rear panels over here. Oh, that panel's really screwed. Yeah, it's okay. We can't repair this Olympian panel at all, so it just is what it is. And uh, let's make sure our limb shield is in good shape. And give a squirt on a, these doors. Both of them now have a fragile or whatever status effect, which means we're going to have to scrap them when we get home. But they're going to have to hold up until then. Whoop. Okay, let's go. Heading to the next mission zone. At least we have perpetual stability here. All right, guys, uh, we're here. I had to actually pause the game and leave in real life for a little while. Um, and I only point Give that out because I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> the electrical grid is your department. You know the plan as well as I do. So you'd rather trust me than have to speak up for yourself? Uh, uh. Guess you're on your own, driver. Good luck. Okay, fine. <laughs> the regular anchors aren't enough to overcharge the arc device to the level we need. But there's an old anomaly barricade we can piggyback onto. It's archaic technology, an early attempt to stop anomalies from drifting out into the wider Olympic Peninsula. It worked for some time. Until it didn't. But long enough to get the old wall built. The barricade's in bad shape, but what's a little rampant voltage leakage? Not like the ghosts and goblins of the deep zone will mind. And if they do, more the better for Francis. Huh? Appreciate the olive branch, Avi, but boy, do you have a lot to learn about the paranormal. I'd be happy to give you a primer after all this is over. Ugh, hard pass. I'm far too old for that. The car will induce a current along the barricade in the same way you did it crossing the old wall. Every connection point needs to be induced within a limited time. Electrify the entire barricade, and we'll have all the power we need. You heard him. Floor it, driver. Alright. I'm starting to think that they're not going to let us just go off and do what we want in this zone, which is what I was kind of afraid of. Um, there. 
let me see if I can get some stuff to make a ceiling kit first. What are we short? We're short one duct tape, damn it. Okay. Well, we're probably not going to find that unless we go loot a building or another trunk or something to that effect. So freaking irritating when those batteries do that because it's just non stop arcing. Is there a dresser right here? I mean, nothing weird happens in this game. <laughs> it's a weird place for a dresser. Uh, okay, let's look at the map. Alright, so they want us to breach some barricade thingy. Um, and we're going to actually be going out of this zone in another... Um, at the end of whatever, you know, they want us to do for the mission. So before we go over to the mission area, I think we should drive around a little and see if we can find um, a few more resources because because this is a scripted mission zone, I don't think we'll have to worry about the st instability storm until um, we just have another tire go bad. Ah, oh, shit. I think it's, t it's time for me to retire this set of tires. Mechanics kit. Well, at least we have. Wait, actually, hold on. If we uh, scan this. Yeah, okay. Let's um, do this then. And we'll grab this tire. That's why we keep a spare. Hopefully the rest of them hold up okay. That one looks like it's about ready to go tits up too. Um. Yeah, see that could be a problem actually if we... If we have another tire go bad like that. Well, let's just do what we can do. I'd really like to grab some more Olympium, more than anything. Okay, looks like we are... Well, actually, what is that? Alright, let's stop here. Oh, is this one of those, like, racing circuit thingies or whatever they are? Might be able to get some duct tape out of here. No moss. Inside of this thing. All right, 
right, let's go up in the tower. There we go. Now we can make a ceiling kit. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use an electrical thing to doodle on that. Oh crap, I left my limb shield on. <coughs> I think that left and right probably actually turned it on. I don't remember turning it on. Of course, I could have accidentally hit the button. Okay, ceiling kit. Um, what the hell's the matter with you now? Can't fix either one of those things. Alright, I think I actually should probably save the ceiling kit in case we get another flat. Did we check in here? Yeah, we did. Just really messing this up on all of our batteries, though. I can't get rid of them. We need them, though. This is a, an amp engine. We need all the batteries we can get. But hopefully, they'll continue to work a little bit more for a while. Let's just run up this road really quick and see if there's any thing significant. See more cars. And we got another bad wheel. Alright, maybe I should have pulled the I do have a um a uh Oh god, I can never remember what those damn things are called. The thing that you can pull the stuff off whole. This thing right here. Oops, no, not that. This thing. Yeah, see that tire shot the hill. As are those. Yeah, I shouldn't have gr uh, ground up those other tires. Ugh. Mistakes were made. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find another squire. Um, can we make wheels in here? We can make a spare tire in here. Well, you know what? That's going to be better than... Wow. Okay. Let's do this. It's going to be better than this. Poor batteries. Oh man. Um, I've got two. F Damn. Uh, I got two full plasma thingies. So. That's a boom bunny. Holy smokes. Okay, well, we were able to scan it. We don't want to hit these or things are going to go boom also. And we're at the end of the road. Okay, let's get turned around here. I don't know, man. Maybe considering our battery situation, we should probably just move forward with the, the quest. Let me let me let me look at the map again here for a second. We're here. Yeah, I think that's the racing circuit. That's what that those little chevrons mean. 
We're probably going to actually need to do that, too, now that I think about it. Oh, we can get out of here now? Hmm. If we left, can we come back later and redo this? I don't know if that would screw anything up, though. Let's try it. Okay, I think we're gonna go down through here. Cause we're, we're in actually very bad shape right now. Um, things just kind of went to shit. We need to put fresh tires on this car. We need fresh batteries. And, uh, yeah. I am going to really quickly stop here, though. Ooh, a limb chip. Um... I want that limb chip. That thing is valuable. All right, we got to go. We have no more time. He says as he goes after this balloon thing, because we need more of those too. This is the last stop, and then we'll go. Come on. Can't we get this whole thing? There we go. Oh, shit. We got to go. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Take one of those. Go. Here it comes. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Okay. Um, here. We gotta do this. Quick. I can't, I can't step out of that with my health so low. Can you believe that? Oh, the rotten fucking luck, man. We didn't mess up that. <laughs> I hope we didn't mess up that quest, but we're just, you know, with all those batteries going haywire, it just really messed us up. Oh my goodness. Okay. So. Did you. Did, did you drive into a storm? Did you enjoy feeling your bones separated from your body? Uh, I was just trying to get the hell out of there. Um, before we pull into the garage and start auto healing, <laughs> this car is a mess. Okay, this comes off. Um, that piece of shit comes off. Actually, that piece of shit saved our butt, so I shouldn't. I should be a little more grateful to it. Not that I'm in the habit of being grateful to tires, but you know. Um, that piece of shit's gone away. I've just been using these tires for a lot of runs, even though, you know, I kept repairing them, and they are at their end of life. Um, okay. Both of these batteries, same thing. They've got the fragile or whatever bloated thingy on them, and they are... No longer serviceable to us. That hurt. Uh, 
Uh, the limb, the two limb bumpers are, are new. So those should be fine. Yeah, this thing is on its way out. And you just need to be fixed. You don't apparently have a status issue, but this one does. So, you know, there's definitely pros and cons to having an all-electric engine. Uh, for sure. Okay. Now, I have... Um, I've got some off-road tires in here, but I don't know... I wish the game would give you some kind of idea of how close they are to end of life. Um, and I just don't, I don't, I just don't know that. Uh, I think, I mean, this one doesn't have any status effects on it, but since it was with the the other set, chances are it's probably on its way out too. So I'm not even gonna chance it. One of these sets obviously is a little newer than the other one, but because they don't give you any indication, like what I said about how close they are, I just don't really have any way to know. So we're going to put these on for now. Um, I'm still kind of tempted just to make a whole brand new set anyway. But we need those on just to drive into the garage. And then everything else should be... Uh, nope, this one is ready at end of life, too. That's an Olympium panel that we found out in the field, and we can't even grind it down. It just disappears because it's a special panel. This one's ready to go. Look at this big pile of shit we got here. That one's ready to go. <laughs> um, a couple of these, too, I think I um, I salvaged, so they could have already been, you know, partway ready to go. Okay, that panel seems to be okay. This one's ready to go. Man, we're going to have to pretty much rebuild the whole damn car. But the good news is, is we have lots of... Uh, crystals, because that's kind of the main thing that the armored panels require. So we should be good at, in that regard. All right. So we're gonna keep that panel and that one and every uh, and the this door, right? Okay, I'm gonna get some stuff put away here, get all that mess cleaned up. And then we'll kind of see where we're at here. Okay, so we have um, 62 Olympium. I think that might be enough for us to build our the final engine, uh, which means we'll have to go back to gasoline. And I'm kind of okay with that. I'm kind of tired of messing with these damn batteries. Um. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Limb chip engine. Oh no, we need explosives, and I don't know how to make explosives. Uh, there's nothing in here for that. So I found them in loot. 
But, uh, yeah. All right, what about the big XL battery? Oh, we can finally make that. I, yeah, we should be able to. Okay, I think what we're going to do then, in that case, is make this. But wait a minute, why is that not registering? Uh, this limb chip. Oh, that's not a limb chip, that's a circuit board. Okay, never mind, sorry, my bad. I thought that was a limb chip. All right, uh, roof battery. There we go. All right, we're gonna replace this with the Look at that thing, man. It's got a freaking transformer on it. That is awesome. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with an electrical engine here for another another run. Oh, that ion shield is Yeah, that ion shield shield's bad. It's um It's unreliable. Okay, let's just grind it down then. Whenever you start seeing fragile or unreliable or swollen, all that kind of stuff, it means it's close to the end of its life. Okay. Um. Do I have enough stuff to make a, a brand new set of all-terrain tires? Uh, we got plenty of scrap metal and rubber. Uh, carbon fiberglass. So we can make two tires already with that, and then to make more carbon fiberglass, we just need tree candy, which we have plenty of. All right, here's the thing. I, I don't know how old these tires are. Um, what the hell? So we're going to grind these down. We'll get some of the resources back, and we're going to make a fresh set so we don't run into the same problem we we had, you know, with the other ones. Here, let's just grab them first. Why does that keep making that noise when I take the tire off? Hmm. Is it... It's almost like the car's taking a tiny bit of damage or something when I do that. Very weird. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need to make some bat uh, new batteries too. So I think this high this battery here is probably fairly new. Okay, let's pick all this up. Good, we got two more carbon fiber panels for our trouble there. Oh nope. Stop it. Wrong thing. All right, four brand new all-terrain tires. Um, actually, we should probably make five so we have a spare. Okay, I wonder if we should also just replace these doors and panels as well. <clears throat> um, that's going to be a little more expensive. So to do, we would need to do five armored doors and five panels. Okay, so that's two thermosap crystals per. Oh, we could make a couple of Olympian panels. We can make a total of three Olympian panels or... Uh, 
four doors. All right, why don't we do that? So here, here's what we're going to do. Again, because I don't know how close these are to end of life. I'm going to grind those up. All right, so that takes all the panels off the vehicle. Now, um, let's suck this stuff up. So that way we can reuse as much of it as it will let us. Okay, let's make four Olympium doors. And we will put those on our door doors and the hatch will just be another armored door for now. Okay. And then every, then we need to make five armored panels and one armored door. And this car is going to be practically brand new. This is pretty new too. That resource uh, radar, because I recently made a new one of those. If I did, I think maybe I already mentioned that, but I don't know. Okay, there's all our panels. Okay. Now, um, bup, 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 bup. Oh, that doesn't get repaired from the repair bay, huh? That's odd. Okay, let's take this. What about you? Oh, you're... You're end of life now, too. Hmm. Oh, we got some Olympian back out of that. You know what? I'm going to actually use that four of those to make a new Olympium torch. Right? Wait, do I want to do that or do I want to make... Ah, we still don't have enough to make that. Oh, well, no, wait, we've got to pick it up first. It's not detected while it's on the floor. Um, we could make an Olympium hatch door. And I could just make, you know, normal torches. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I know we already made this armored door, but... Uh, we'll hang on to this since it's brand spanking new. And let's put it in here. Okay, so all the doors are, are now Olympium. And we'll just have to work on getting the panels upgraded. We've got brand new tires. Um, I'm going to remove this for the moment and like I said, I think that is, that's fairly new, but I don't know if we're just, if we're going to like do everything new, we got plenty of resources to do that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's just do everything new. Why, why risk it for the biscuit? Okay, so we need two high-capacity batteries for the back seat. So with those batteries and the big one on the roof, how much power does that give us? Gives us a about the same as we've had all along. Do we want to do something different with the side panels this time? I wonder if we put if we put four turbines on if that would be better. 
than putting batteries there because the batteries, these batteries are always getting damaged because they're on the outside. Why don't we try that this time around and just see uh, how we like that. I'm just trying to think what else we have for side rack stuff. Not not a big fan of the lightning rod. Yeah, why don't we try that? I mean, this might work great. It might work terrible. One way to find out. We're not giving ourselves really any less power than we've already been having all along because we always had around 220. So with this new big battery on top, we're still going to be there. But maybe with four of these things running at the same time, you know, it'll keep it from running down so, so much faster. Okay. Um, the only thing left to do now is give the car a paint job. And um, we've been sporting red for a bit. What does teal look like? Eh, nah. <laughs> I don't think so. Not a fan. Uh, how about... We got crimson red. A darker red. What's that look like? Now, I want to try something different other than red. You know what I'd like to do is I'd like to try green, but... I don't... Uh, oh, here we go. That's evergreen. I think I have green green in here. Yeah, green paint. Is that enough to paint the entire thing? Hmm. Let's look at the evergreen. I think I like green green better. Okay, so that takes care of the that. Um What do I want to do for striping? Let's take a look at this Arda striping. But I don't know that I want to use it on the whole entire car. Oh, I got a limb chip in my inventory. Let's put that back there. Okay, so what will this look like if we did it like on the hood? Huh. I kind of like that actually. It makes our car look official. All right, what is yeah, what's it look like on the doors? Very cool. But we'll just put those on the front doors, and then... What would it look like if we did this? Now, we're, now we look like a race car. There's nothing wrong with that. And then I think what we'll do is put black stripes on the rest of it. I'm liking that. All right. 
So except for this, which has only been out on one run, everything else on this car is brand spanking new. All the panels, well, these two also, which have only been out on one run. So our two limb bumpers. Uh, everything else is new. And uh, it's looking good. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. And then um, in the next episode, we'll continue to, to go back into the deep zone, uh, continuing to look for uh, more Olympium so we can finish our Olympium panels. And there's a couple of things we need it for, too. I just can't think of what it is off the top of my head. Um, one more thing. Do we have any <coughs> any um, glitches? Uh, we have one. Or not glitch, quirk. Okay, so we've got plenty of power to just let it give us clues. Okay, battery. Drains quickly. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we're find, figuring this one out now. Um, when wipers are probably on. It's, uh, oh, we're, <laughs> we're out of normal k -Lim power. All right, we'll have to figure the the rest out. But, man, I'm glad I, I checked this because that's very important. I'm going to say switch is on to start with. Okay, how about... Switch is off. Okay, how about toggles? Son of a bitch. All right. How about wobbles? That's it. Okay. And probably I was, I was going to guess. Electricity is probably what we need for that. Uh, no, go here. Fix. Yeah, that is definitely a quirk that we want to fix. <laughs> we don't want anything draining the battery any more than we have to. I, I wish this light would work, though, but it, it doesn't seem to work anymore. I don't know why. All right. Now our car is in tip-top condition. I just need to kind of resupply things a little bit. And, um, yeah. And then we'll go out and about in the next episode and continue looking for Olympium. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.